Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube video, and today I'm gonna be doing a story time that's like crazy. It's a story time on like a stalker that I had, basically. That's the word that I could like actually use for this type of story time, um, because it's definitely what the person was doing. So, um, I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. But anyways, guys, before I get into this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on my post notifications, request any other videos that's what to see, and yeah, let's get on with this video. Okay, guys, so basically this happened back in, like, uh, let's say, I'm gonna say October. Not even. Probably earlier. But it was, like, last year when I started, like, uploading every single day. Keep in mind, this is the story of my stalker. Um, I'm not gonna say the person's name, social media, or anything. Because, you know, privacy reasons, I don't want you guys doing anything. Like, I don't want you guys going after the person or anything. Or I'm not trying to give their identity away. So, um, I'm gonna come up with a name... Ooh, bro, why upload a video? So we'll just use Brandon as his name. Um, I don't know if you guys watch bro, what is. It's Face Rush Brother. Bro, what is Brandon a what is, So, yeah. Shout out to him. But, yeah, anyways, guys. Um, so we're just gonna go with the name Brandon. Um, basically, a few months ago, I made a video, um, on what's on my iPhone. And I'm planning on doing a part two, because, like, I've updated my phone and stuff, and, like, there's a lot of new things on my phone, so if you guys want to see that, request it down below. But, yeah, anyways, guys, so, back to the story. So, I made a what's on my iPhone video on this iPhone X, and, um, I just uploaded it, and it did really good. It had a couple hundred views, and it was doing really good. I was getting a lot of positive feedback from what I remember, and a couple of days later after me uploading that video... I'm always checking my DMs, so I get a DM from someone. So I don't have a DM saved or anything because I blocked them, and it was because of safety reasons, I guess. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable with them following me, so I had to block them, and it gets crazy. But anyways, guys, they text me something that said, Hey, I just saw your video, your what's on your iPhone video, and you're such an amazing YouTuber, etc., etc., etc. Do you want to be friends or something like that and I was like hey thank you so much thank you so much for watching my videos and of course I'd like to be friends so you know people who support me I'm gonna support them back and be nice and everything because that's the way people treat each other if you're nice to someone then someone else is gonna be nice to you but if you're mean to someone then of course they're gonna be mean to you so um basically that's how it went and so we would text like he would text me all the time and I was like all right I love texting people like I'm gonna text back so we're texting for a couple of days and stuff and then, out of nowhere, he starts calling me his brother and buddy. And I didn't know how old he was. Like, I didn't ask his age. And when I went on his um, Instagram account, it was all pictures about God, um, black pictures, no self-pictures. Like, it was no pictures of himself. And that was kind of suspicious. Like, what if it was a 30-year-old man that I was texting? I didn't know. So I was like, hold up. I gotta be careful and not let my, like, not give out too much information about myself and stuff. So I was like, you know, let me just do that. And I was just, like, texting him, like, not texting way too much. Because, like, he wasn't having any pictures of himself on his Instagram account. So that was kind of weird. That's, like, a first thing that will, like, make you think. Like, that's a first sign, I guess. That's what it's called. Um, but anyways, guys, it goes on from there. So he starts calling me buddy all the time. And I'm like... <sighs> That's kind of weird. I'm just saying. Um, so he starts calling me his brother too. He tells me how we're gonna meet up in the future and we're gonna be brothers and stuff like that. And it was kind of crazy, I don't know. Um, but I don't know where he was. I don't know where he lived or anything. So he keeps texting me and stuff and then we keep talking. And while he was texting me and all, like throughout the days, I would see that he had friends and he would like follow a lot of guys. He would always post on his um, Instagram talking about getting his um, heart broken. And like, he had a lot of brothers, brothers that he followed, like random guys. And all of the guys had pictures of themselves shirtless and stuff. I don't know. I guess he found these guys attractive and stuff. And so he follows them, he calls them brothers, buddies, stuff like that. But once they start dating a girl, he cuts them off real quick and he basically claims his life is over. That's basically what he was doing. But he always came to me and texted me about his problems and stuff, about his relationship problems, and I was always there for him. I was, like, always, like, supporting him, telling him what to do, comforting him, and stuff like that. And I was always by his side. And then one day, he was telling me about his problems, and he was, like, crying. He claimed to be crying. And he was, like, promise me something. And I was, like, what? And he said, promise me you'll never date a girl. And I was, like, why? 
and he just said promise me it and I was like okay but I never said I promised it because like I found it weird like who would tell someone else not to date someone like that's kind of like weird like you can't tell like you can't control people like that you just can't do that like that's not normal so I was like, okay, because I don't even know this person, first off. Like, I don't even know where they're coming from or who they are. I just knew their name because of their Instagram. And I didn't even know their full name. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but Brandon is his name. So I was like, okay. And then a couple of days later, he asked me for some pictures of my feet. And I was like, why? He said, just send me a picture of your feet. And I was like, what? And he was like, oh, I have a foot fetish and I really want to see what your feet look like. And I was like, no, that's not happening. Like, no. And then he asked me if I had like any best friends. And I was like, yeah, I have a lot of people who are my best friends and stuff. And then he was like, oh, would you be comfortable showing them your feet? What if they asked you to show them your feet? What would you do? And I was like, I don't know, that's something that wouldn't really happen. And that's all I said. And then he was like, oh, okay. And I never sent him any pictures or anything. Like, I'm not sending my pictures of my feet. Like, no, that's weird, okay? So I didn't send any pictures of my feet because, like, that's just weird. Um, But anyways, guys, so we kept talking. And, like, that was, like, three things off. Him not having the pictures of himself. The second one, him telling me not to date anyone. Third one is the foot fetish. That's already three things that are, like, weird, okay? So, then we keep talking and talking and talking, and he would, like, text me every single day. It's like he was obsessed with me, or whatever. I'm not trying to, like, sound weird or anything, but he was literally obsessed with me. So, like, he would always comment on my videos, and I understand that. That's, like, being supportive and stuff, so I was, like, fine with it. But it got to a point where it was, like, really weird. Like, one day he found me on my Snap, and I was like, okay, he found me on my Snap, that's normal. He, because of my YouTube channel, I give away my social media and stuff. Then he found me on my Twitter. I was like, okay, I've given my Twitter away, too. And then he found my TikTok. And he was going through every single TikTok of mine and liking it and stuff. And I was getting spams and everything. And then he also followed me on Instagram. He was following me on everything. Like, he was looking at every single thing I would do, like, all the time. It was just weird like that. So, he would always comment on my YouTube channel. He'd be like, I love your brother and stuff like that. And I was like, not even my own brother says that. Like, okay, but... I was like, okay, he's kind of being supportive, but then it's also kind of getting weird. And then we keep texting, and then at one point we kind of fell off, like, he'd, he wouldn't text me as much, but then he came back to texting me again after, like, he got his heart broken or something, I don't know. But he texted me again, and I was like, okay, let me help you with your problems and stuff like that. And then one day, this happened. So, I was dating someone, it wasn't really dating, I don't even know what it was. And we were talking, and I was telling him about it and stuff like that. And he got so mad. He started typing on all caps, and I really wish I had these pictures. I might, I'm not even sure. I gotta go through my camera roll, because I screened and shot a lot of things. But he starts screaming in caps, and I'm like, okay, calm down, it's just a girl. And I was like, what? Oh, by the, by the way, he told me at this point his age. He's like 18 or 17. I think I was 17. He was 17. And I'm 14, keep that in mind. He's talking to someone who's way younger than him. So, that's another weird thing. So he keeps getting mad and I'm telling him how it's just a girl and like, we're not even official and stuff. And like, I don't know, it was just weird like that. And he told me I promised him, even though I just said okay. Like, I never said I promised. All I said was okay. And so, he keeps talking about things like that. And he was like, oh, you're so bogus, which I didn't even know what that meant. And it turns out it's like fake. And I was like, okay, you're calling me fake. And then he starts following the girl. And she was also weirded out. And she had to block him because he was basically attacking her, like verbally attacking her. And I was like, okay, you're not gonna talk to my friends like that. Like, if you wanna be my friend, you can't talk to my other friends or you can't talk shit at them. Like, you just don't do that, all right? So, so that happens. And he was like, oh, I want you to break up with her. I can't believe you're doing this. It's either her or me, you're choosing between her or your brother. Like, your brother has been here for, like, so long, even though it was just a couple of months, and I've known this girl for, like, years. And I was like, all right, you're not telling me what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm obviously gonna choose her over you. Like, you're doing all these weird things, you're 17 or so. She's been my best friend, so no, we're not doing that. And so that happens, and then, he, and then I had to block him, because he literally 
was like attacking my whole entire feed on Instagram. Like he was commenting stuff, he was posting how I'm still fake and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna deal with this. I'm gonna just block him and stuff and not deal with it. So I did block him. Turns out he had like another 10 accounts on Instagram and he would always come back texting me and stuff. And I was like, is he really this crazy about me? It was just crazy. And turns out he's into guys, he's gay. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't judge, I don't care if he was. But I didn't know he was into me like that. Like, he's 17, I'm 14, he's about to be 18, I'm about to be 15. That's kind of weird. The age thing is kind of weird. So then I blocked him and he kept on following me and I would always just ignore his DMs. And so time passes by and we're all fine. And then I go on his Instagram and kind of see what he's doing. Like, I want to see if he's posting stuff about me. So I get on his Instagram page, and then on his Instagram it says some of my friends are following him. And I was like, hold up. Why are my friends following this guy, and how did my friends find out this guy's Instagram? It turns out this kid went through all my follow list and looked for my friends and followed them. And he even texted my friends talking crap about me and stuff like that, asking if they knew me and what I do and stuff like that. I, I think I have some screenshots of that and I'll ask my friends for those. So it was just weird like that. It was like, why are you following my friends and going through my friends and texting them about me? Like, you don't do that. You, you ask me anything that you want to know about me, not my friends. Like, come on. And then my friends came to me and told me how they're, he's asking about me and stuff. And I was like, okay, don't text him because I really don't know who he is. And so I think they blocked him. I'm not even sure, but that happened and so time passes and then on new year's eve i went through my dms and there was someone who was on my dms and they said hey i love your new video and i was like oh no is this him on another account because he made another account but he had the same profile picture so that was kind of like dumb like if you're gonna make another account and pretend like you're someone else then at least get another profile picture but he made an account just to pretend like he was someone else to try to talk to me that's how crazy he was. So I text back and I was like, thank you so much, but I know who this is. And he was like, what do you mean? And he pretended to be a girl. And I was like, I know who you are. You're Brandon. And he was like, I'm definitely not. I don't know what you're talking about. And then I had to like keep telling him, I'm not dumb. I know who you are. And he was like, okay. And then he, he got really mad after that. And I was like, okay, you're gonna get mad and you're calling me bogus and everything. And it was just crazy. I was like, why are you attacking me? Why are you still following me? What do you want from me? And it was just crazy. And then it came to the point where he was like, oh, I hope you die one day. One day I'm gonna go to New York and I'm gonna kill you. And I was like, wait, did he just threat me? And I have some of these screenshots, but it turns out he unsent all those messages. And I think I might still have the screenshot, but I'm gonna put those in. So basically he just threat me and that's kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, but it just went off like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna forgive you. I'm gonna give you another chance. But then something happened, he got mad again, and I was like, oh, so you wanna keep on talking trash? Like, I'm not cool with that, so like, I'm gonna block you and stuff. And then he kept on spamming me, he was like, oh, if I die, it's your fault. And I was like, you're 17, you keep following me, I'm 14. Like, there's nothing, like, what do you want from me? You're saying you're gonna die because of me. But what have I done? I had never hurt you in any way. Like, all I did was date someone that I liked. Like, it wasn't even like that. And then I stopped talking to him and it ended up with him saying these exact words. He ended up texting me and said, and this was our last conversation. He said, what would Jesus do? He'd forgiven us a bunch of things, even like murder. And turning against him, why can't you be like that and give me a chance? He gave you many. Fine, dude, since you don't care about me, fine. Like, you don't even care about a child of God. We are even supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ. But I see you cannot forgive anyone. Bye. Hope you're happy. I'm living in, hope you're happy. I'm living in back depressed. Thanks. 
and I was like, oh my god, you try to manipulate people so much, like, what the hell, like, he's really trying to manipulate me, and I'm not cool with that, like, don't manipulate me, like, that's different, like, you're on another level, and then he said, I see, you don't, you don't care, so whatever, I'm done trying to get to you, I'm done trying to get you to come back to me, sorry for messing your life up, good luck, Edward, on everything in the future, I was like, stop, he said, stop what, that's what I said, too, I asked you to stop hating me, you wouldn't, so why should I stop? Bye, dude, you're too mean for me. I know what if, I know that if I'm dead tomorrow, you wouldn't care. He was basically asking me to forgive him for talking all this smack about me and my friends. And I was like, all right, I forgive you. But then he kept on talking trash, so like, he keeps on doing it. He saw about me hating him, but I never said anything mean to him. Like, I never said anything rude or anything. All I said was I'm dating someone and stuff like that. And I said, okay, I'm not forgiving you. You're trying to manipulate me. Like, that's not cool. And that's how it ended. That's our conversation. And that's basically where it left off. And ever since then, I've been, like, scared to answer DMs because, like, I really don't know who people are. And I've gotten one other person, and she has, like, a hundred-something thousand followers on her Instagram. And it was weird because she texted me out of nowhere. And her Instagram looks so fake. Like, her pictures look so fake. So I'm, like, careful. And she even asked me what school I go to. But that's, like, a different story. It's really short, though. But... I've just been like more careful with who I talk to on Instagram. Like social media could be like really scary sometimes. Like that was such a scary experience that I had, and something I really don't want to go through again. That's why I'm also really careful when I talk to people online. Like I feel like this is a good message to like give to you guys. Be careful with who you talk to online, especially if their Instagrams or their accounts look like really suspicious. Like this guy, he only had pictures of cross signs and stuff it was really sus like yeah um but yeah that is pretty much it for this story time i know it was really long let me know if you guys made it through this whole video if you guys did i love you guys so much and yeah it's really crazy um and i would tell my friends all of this throughout while it was happening and they were like it's crazy stop talking to him you don't know what he's gonna do like you don't know who he even is like what if he's actually not 17 so yeah it was just weird like that um that's how it ended though but yeah, anyways guys, that is it for the story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Request any other videos as well to see. And give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Whoa, whoa, whoa.